Hello everyone, I am Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, I will walk you through step by step method how you can remove FW prefix when you forward email in Outlook. So I will show you when I want to forward this email to somebody. So I just simply click on it and click on forward. And you will see the subject, there is a word FW colon which represent that this email is forwarding to somebody. So if you want this FW colon to be removed while you forward your email, it's very easy. In this video, I will tell you method how you can remove this prefix. So simply go to the quick steps. Quick steps is designed to manage your emails while you are about to act on specific email. So simply hit on this expander. Now go to this new and there is an option forward to click here and you will see first time setup dialog box appears forward to name is already here. Now you have to click on options that will open added quick steps dialog box. Now here what you have to do you have to add it the action the quick step performs. So in the to section you have to keep it blank because you cannot enter the email address in this quick steps because the person you are sending the email may be the different person. So simply hit on show options and here you will see the subject FW colon and the subject is already given here. Now here you have to simply remove this FW colon and delete it. You have to keep rest of the things as it is and now you can also assign a sh keyboard shortcut to make it happen and simply hit save hit ok my quick steps is ready when I select an email instead of clicking this forward key or control F keyboard shortcut I simply use this quick steps forward to which is already added in this recent items so when I click forward to see the email address I have to type manually but the subject FW colon is removed from here enter the email address you can add your content and simply send this email. In this way, you can forward the email to your recipient without the prefix FW colon in Microsoft Outlook application. I hope you found this video useful and if you like this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.